Well, I thought this build would be a cool surprise, but one of you already made a close guess unrelatedly. I'm not angry, though. Well, maybe like... <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with you. It's time for a new Bravely build, everyone. As I said, someone has already gotten pretty close to guessing it, but I've had this one waiting for a while now. But that doesn't matter. This is what I like to call Project Ying Yang. Now this is just really just a new type of build, not a particular build itself, like with specific characters. And you'll understand the name soon enough if you know what Ying Yang are. The way this build works is that it's going to be similar to a double build, like I do a lot of my channel. You got a Guardian and Possessing, sure, but this time there's no Twin Souls ability. Let's just set up the two characters first. On the one, with the Guardian, we're going to have the Knight for side commands. For abilities, we've got Guardian Spirit as a passive, let's throw on uh, Fortitude, Physical and Magic Defense 20% up, uh, Protect Ally, and Chivalrous Spirit, why not? You'll want to equip armor and helms and stuff like that, raise that defense, we're making a tank with this character. For the other one, oh, let's, uh, I don't know, let's just have a Kaiser with Fencer commands, then slap on Fortitude, uh, Muscle Memory, Stampede, Physical Attack, 20% up, uh, Triple Wield, and we got Kerberos on the side, let's not really worry about that. Then put on three attacking weapons, and now we got a Attacker. Oh, right, still gotta explain how this build works. Well, you see, the concept works around the usage of both of the Guardian's possessing commands, Possession and Possessed. Usually, I just use Possessed for my double builds. See, Possession makes the Guardian merge into the target ally, or enemy, but Possessed makes the target go into the Guardian. So, if you switch back and forth between these two, depending on what you need, you can either have a super strong tank or a massively high damage dealer. Since HP is combined, if you have a couple of bonds used on your characters, using Blinding Light from the Kaiser could deal max damage without requiring you to have a low HP or spend any HP like Minus Strike or Phoenix Flight. Valkyrie might also work with the Fencer pretty well. Hey, that could be its own build. Stay tuned for more on that. But maybe you don't really want a tank. Okay, so we swap out the knight, put in wizard magic, uh, change up the abilities, maybe make the wizard main so you can get spellcraft for free, and boom! Now you can switch between high physical and high magic damage. Very useful for when fighting bosses that require certain damage types, like Amphisbina, the two-headed lizard that comes in in chapter 2 of Raider Second? I can't remember what chapter exactly. It's not a hard fight, but it will definitely help in that kind of fight. So that's Project Ying Yang, the ability to create two completely different and yet very powerful teammates depending on your needs. Before I end this video, I just wanted to say that I noticed my builds have become more about the builds being based on name and not the name coming from the build itself. They've been more just ideas and other things and concepts, and not so much practical, so I'm going to try to balance it out with more useful builds in the future. I'll have more coming out though, and we're getting close to 200 subs, might try to plan ahead for that, or not, we'll see. I don't usually stick to schedule like that, or any schedule. I'm a free spirit. In any case, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.